Starting with lesson five, we're really going to start jumping into using Photoshop to edit and manipulate images. And so for the skills practice for lesson five using filters, I'd like to walk through it from start to finish with you. I won't walk through every skills practice from start to finish. Sometimes I will highlight key things that I think are very important or will be more difficult to achieve based on the lesson that's been provided. Uh, sometimes seeing someone do something is easier than listening to someone explain how to do something. And so let's take a look at the requirements for the lesson five skills practice. Um, first, we need to find an image that is bigger than 1500 by 900 pixels to use or 900 by 1500 if we're gonna use a portrait orientation picture. You can use any image that you have if you have your own images, or you can find one on opengraphicarts.org. Go to Open Up Graphic Arts, hit Stock Images, and then you can use any of the images provided. And so maybe we'll grab this one here. Make sure you click it so that it expands and becomes large. And then I'm going to save a copy of the image. I'm just going to toss it on the desktop for now. and hit save. You need to make sure that the image is large enough to use for the project. So you'll need to open Photoshop and choose File Open. Go to your desktop and then find wherever you saved the image. I called mine Filters. Open it. If you get a prompt about the color space, make sure that you append the image so that you're using the workspace for our class. And then to check the image size, you need to choose Image and image size to open the image size dialog box. And this will tell you that the image is 1500 pixels by 2000. Go ahead and pull up your own image. And when you've verified it has enough pixels, you can move on to the next video in this demo.